na 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 na. Hey, ba 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 ba. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to Coco Sports. I am the huge one, a kid, idiot, Dave Coco from DaveCocio.com. I don't know how this video will do for the views. This is not for short-term views, as we're trying to rebuild our channel. This is for my sanity. This is for anyone that has to deal with reviewing stuff. This has to do with, I get this 500 times, and you know, I usually stream on twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports, and we'll make a command. 1v1, bam. You know, so it's like, there's certain things in Twitch that people repeat over and over and over, and if you have a command, it silenced them. But in YouTube, you really don't have commands. I mean, you can copy and paste the same answer, but it's not the effect, the same. So I am making this video, not for today, not for tomorrow, but for the rest of our frigging lives. And I don't want to pick on this guy. There's a couple people that DM'd me. And he's like, what's your beef with Impact Wrestling? Hmm, why do you hate Impact Wrestling? Hmm, why doesn't YouTubers cover Impact Wrestling more? Other YouTubers, you could steal this. It's because of you. Impact Professional Wrestling. I'm just going to be, I'm going to shoot from the hip 100%. I've been employed by Impact Wrestling. I had TNA watch parties. I have covered Impact probably more than anyone has ever covered Impact. We still do Impact watch parties on twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports. But that's not enough. And on top of that, Impact Wrestling is the most overrated and underrated company in the history of the world. People either mock it and make fun of it forever, or because it's too easy. Let's be honest, their fans are annoying as fuck. It is so easy. You know, like you know, like when you're fucking doing a video, at, like a lot of times impact doesn't even come up, and you're like, I'll just throw a fucking jab at impact because you know those people are fucking annoying as fuck. And so people, I try my hardest not to do that. I try my hardest not to do that. Um, but and sometimes it's too easy. It's like fucking impact wrestling. Am I fucking right? It's because you over exaggerate everything. It's either everyone makes fun of it and says it's the worst product ever when it's not, or everyone thinks it's the greatest and they have to defend its honor. And it's not right now. Impact wrestling. As we speak, the date is one 25, 2023 is a solid good show. It isn't the greatest show. It isn't the worst show. All right. Throughout history up until 125 2023. I'm only saying this because I'm going to share this video every time someone's like, "Do you hate TNA?" Hey. hey well, you got beef with TNA? No. Why are you a TNA hater? No. I don't. I don't fucking hate TNA at all. This is the history of TNA. The weekly pay-per-views were fucking amazing. <clears throat> Most of you didn't watch it. I'll expect I'll ex I'll ex expect a lot of TNA apologists down there saying I'm sorry. The weekly pay per views were amazing. Um, getting Christian Cage was amazing. It peaked. It peaked. Impact, in my opinion, was when Joe headbutted Kurt Angle. That was the peak. That was perfection. Dixie Carter, Hulk Hogan, Eric Bischoff, Vince Ru Russo ruined it, and. They ruined two things, and one of them, thank God, Tony Khan is alive. And I know that people, you never did it, you did it Shut the fuck up. No one likes that. Um, My biggest beef with Dixie Carter was she failed miserably with lots of money, so I was afraid some other rich person that could compete with Vince would never come. All right? I was like, oh, man, wouldn't it be great to have Mark Cuban? Oh, man, wouldn't it be great to have someone jump into the wrestling business with money? And thank God that there's Tony Khan because at least Tony Khan has somewhat of a decent product and others can follow. Even if you don't like it, at least what a, a Tony Khan has done can motivate other rich wrestling fans to invest money into pro wrestling. Um, so that's the peak. Uh, the Dixie Card era was horrible. And this is how I know it's horrible because you TNA fans, would you beef? Why do you hate Impact? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> You now admit it's bad. It's NBA 2K21. When NBA 2K21 came out, everyone said it was good. Then NBA 2K22 and 23 came out, and you're like, oh, 21 sucked. Ha ha! Ha ha! I got you, you fucking son of a bitch. You know why I got you? Because if you go to any Impact fan that watches Impact, you know how they sell it? It's good now. Oh. 
You mean it's improved now? You mean it's good now? But Impact Fan, if it's improved and good, does that mean at one time it was bad? Wow! So, it is not the greatest product to ever live. It is not the worst product ever to live. It does have some of the worst loyalists ever. Ever. Like, here's the problem. Dixie Carter was bad. I think we can all agree with that. The Dixie Carter era was bad. But when you said it was great, why bo- why bother? Why bother? If you, that's great, and now you said it's improved, well, you already said it was great. Your opinion doesn't matter. So I, I try to keep it as honest as I can. Like I said, as of recording this, Impact is a solid show, and I do watch parties on Twitch, and most of the time we give it a win. Most of the time we give it a win. But that's not enough. That's why um, I think it was Awesome Kong that thanked the fans. I actually think, and I don't know if it's done by TNA. I don't know if it's it's pushed by Impact. I think this is one of the products the fans actually hurt the product. Because, you know, I was in a group of 12 YouTubers. They know who they are. Don't come after me because I have receipts. And I said it would be the biggest decision, the worst decision in the world for EC3 to lose. People are going to look at history this way and not this way. Hence why your opinions shouldn't matter. You should actually fucking watch history through the right lens. And I remember all 11 said, how can we spin this to be good? And I said, that is not our job. That is not our job. Our job is not to fucking spin something. Our job, if you have any integrity at all, is to be genuine to what you truly believe. And those other big YouTubers, they said, how can we spin this? Why? You're not part of, you're not part of an impact. You're not an impact employee. Why do you have to spin it? Why? Just shoot from the hip. Because if you shot through the hip right now, and you were honest, and you didn't go, why do you hate Impact? What's your beef with Impact? What's this? What's that? If you didn't go through that fucking phase, you would have integrity, and people would believe you, and they'd be like, oh man, Impact's improved? Example, ROH. ROH, I I, I meet up with a bunch of ROH uh, friends and fans and employees at Wrestle Kingdom every year. Every year I ask them, is it worth watching? And they always told the truth. Like, oh, man, we're doing really good. Oh, man, it's it's pretty bad. Don't watch it now. That's called integrity. Hence why Ring of Honor, probably if you go to an ROH fan and say, hey, dude, how's ROH today? And they say it's this, this, and that. You believe them. Do you believe an Impact fan? Do you believe an Impact fan? Do you? Honestly. You need to have a little bit of integrity. And it is a solid product. It is a good product. It is overhyped by its fan base who probably don't even watch it. That's the sad part. Probably don't even watch it. They just follow a logo and say, it's not Vince McMahon. (laughs) You know how many Impact fans that say, why do you hate Impact? And then I ask them, like, what did you think of the championship match at the last pay-per-view? Oh, it was amazing. I I know what part. Uh, Actually, I I I heard it was amazing. Why the fuck you get your ruffle feathers in a ruffle, bitch? What are you, are New Japan fans? <laughs> See, it, it feels good to make fun of another company when the fans are fucking pathetic. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So I guess that's it. I guess that's it. I know this probably won't do that well, but every time, this is my command. Every time somebody's like, "You hate Impact," bam, gonna send it. I got the interview. Let's look at my resume. Got paid by Impact. Was part of TNA during the watch parties. Interviewed Jeff Jarrett and many stars. Um, Got invited as a guest to the Impact Zone almost every fucking, every week, every week. I didn't go every week, but I was invited every week. Um, I covered it probably longer than anybody. Um, Let me see. Yep, always said if it was good or bad. It gave my honest opinions. Yep, I didn't find a way to spin it. It is the most overhyped company and the most underhyped company of all time. It is right now, 125, 2023, because I'm going to use this every fucking time. 
2023, it is a solid company that gets most wins. And if you're going to DM and message and tweet and all that, every time someone makes an impact joke, it only makes the joke funnier. It only makes the joke funnier. All right. Impact Wrestling, I wish you nothing but the best. I'm going to use this video over and over and over again. Because and now, A, I don't, I'm retired. I don't give a fuck if I, how good or bad fucking Impact Reviews do. Because here's the thing. You know why other YouTubers don't do Impact Reviews? Because they can't review it because the fans love it too much and they don't watch it. And the second reason is it doesn't get views. It just doesn't get views. So imagine if you had, if you were a restaurant cr critic and you had 12 restaurants and 11 of them, no matter what you rate it, wasn't good enough and it wasn't that good to begin with, would you do it? And then if you do WWE or New Japan or AEW, they're like, you could have like legit conversations. You can't have legit conversations with AEW with a WWE fan or WWE with an AEW fan. That's impossible. But you can have a legit conversations with other AEW fans. You can't with Impact. Like, I really thought about doing a social experiment where I would do Impact reviews, not watch it, read the results, and just say how amazing it was. But then I would just be an Impact YouTuber. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm sure this one's going to get hate. I love that. I like it's a solid company. It gets wins most of the time. I hate you. It's not enough. It's not enough. I love Dixie Carter. It's way better now. You don't understand. Well, whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, okay, I understand. Logos mean nothing. Watch this. Watch this. You ready? Bam. Now AEW. Bam. DDT Wrestling. Bam. WWE Raw. Ugh. New Japan. Bam. They mean nothing. All that matters is what you believe in your heart and if the product is good. Go love your logos, perverts. With that, <laughs> with that, check us out. We're always doing impact watch parties. You know they ain't showing up. At twitch.tv forward slash Coco Sports. We're on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and the TikTok. Coco Sports. I, I'm sorry if you're getting this and think it's a personal attack. I, I just, it just has to be done. It has to be done. I love you, dudes. With that, I am over. Ba -na 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 -na. Hey, ba -da -ba -ba -ba.